All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So typically, I make videos about bodybuilding history, classic bodybuilding, and current bodybuilding. But in this video, I want to talk about a bodybuilding division called wheelchair bodybuilding. So it actually is recently, um, it has recently became an IFBB pro division, wheelchair bodybuilding. And I wanted to talk about the best bodybuilder in that division right now and give him the spotlight for a minute. I like to make videos about forgotten bodybuilders in the past that I think deserve the spotlight today. And I think this is a guy who is a current bodybuilder that doesn't really get that much attention and he doesn't really get that much of the spotlight. So he is a wheelchair bodybuilder and he looks absolutely incredible, not just for a wheelchair bodybuilder, but his upper body looks, I mean, it looks IFBB caliber regardless of whether or not he was in a wheelchair. His upper body is absolutely incredible. So let me start out by telling you guys his story. So what happened to him was he had a car accident in 2007. He was trying to avoid hitting some deer on the road in Oklahoma. He ended up hitting a tree with his car and in that car accident, he pinched his T11 and T12 vertebrae. So as a result of that accident, he lost his ability to walk. So let me give you guys his bodybuilding statistics here. So his name, Harold Kelly, his nickname that you might hear him called is King Kong. So Harold King Kong Kelly is what the announcer usually calls him. He only weighs between 170 and 178 pounds on stage, which is 77.3 to 80.9 kilograms um, in competition condition. In the off season, he only gets up to 180 to 185 pounds or 81.8 to 84.1 kilograms. He lives in Texas and he has been training for 30 years almost. So he definitely is a, you know, passionate about bodybuilding. He's passionate about training. So to have that injury in 2007, almost 20 years into his training career, um, that was probably a very big blow to him for, you know, really just destroying his passion. Because if he's been training for 20 years at that point, he's probably like most of you guys watching this um, that are in your 30s or 40s. I've been training for a very long time. So that's why I thought this guy definitely deserves some recognition, because not only um, has he lost his ability to walk, but he, he didn't even let that stop him, man. I think it definitely is a very inspirational story that he continued to be a bodybuilder. He continued to go to the gym. He continued to lift. And he turned out to be the biggest champion that wheelchair bodybuilding has ever seen. So the other reason I wanted to make a video about this is because Harold Kelly has won both of the Arnold Classic wheelchair championships. So he's won back-to-back. -back. There's only been two. Then aside from that, I believe there's about eight other pro wheelchair bodybuilding shows that he won. Um, so he's won the majority of those shows, but they're mostly just smaller shows that they have um, these wheelchair events at. So the goal for the guy that promotes wheelchair bodybuilding, his name is Nick Scott. I'll probably be making a video about him in the future as well. But his goal is to get wheelchair bodybuilding on the Olympia stage. Now, I am 110% on board with that idea. I think these wheelchair bodybuilders look absolutely fantastic. Their conditioning is good. Their physiques are very good. And apart from that, their story is a very motivational story. They probably train their asses off to get their physiques to look like that. Imagine training and not being able to stand up or use your legs for support. Just think about how difficult and awkward it is for them to train and how they have to adjust for them to train to get their bodies to look like this. So not only do they have great physiques, their stories are inspirational. Um, I think they're definitely worthy of being on the Olympia stage. If we can have bikini um, competitors on the Olympia stage and we can have a Miss Olympia bikini, we should definitely have wheelchair bodybuilding on the Olympia stage uh, because I think they definitely deserve it. They definitely earned it. I think it's definitely very good for uh, you know just overall inspiration. So if you want to see some more photos and videos of Harold, he has an Instagram account. It's Harold Kelly IFBB Pro. I will link that in the description below. Um, he's got some great photos on there. So please give the video a thumbs up if you want to see wheelchair bodybuilding on the Olympia stage and you think this guy deserves to get more recognition. So try to share this video, like this video, try to get it out there. Let's make this guy famous. Currently on Instagram, he has only 9,000 followers. So that's one of my favorite things about this channel is that there's guys like this who I think deserve a much bigger following and they don't have barely any followers on social media. And I can make a video about them and put them in the spotlight and I can get their followers way, way up. So I think this guy definitely deserves, you know, a ton of followers. His story is absolutely amazing. He's got a crazy physique. I mean, I don't know what else he would need to be, you know, a massive icon in the fitness industry. But for me, I think this is a tremendously inspirational story because I can't even imagine being in the position that he's in and still being motivated to train and be a champion bodybuilder. So thank you guys for watching. Again, please give the video a thumbs up if you're supportive of wheelchair bodybuilding. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.